Y'all are inside the microwave right now. Good morning. It is 9.45 in the morning. I'm sitting inside of one of my truck stores because I have a big meeting today um, with a lot of like my district people about a giant event that we have planned and the apartment is still packed up. My Mac is not put together. The office is not together. Like it's a lot. And so I can't have a meeting there. I don't have a desk. Like there's nothing. So I thought I would come here before my meeting so that way I can one prep for it, figure out what needs to happen and stuff because I just, I've been in move mode and I'm high key stressed because things are just like happening they keep happening to get real for like a hot second i just like i don't know obviously i can handle everything that's been going on because i'm handling everything that's been going on but in a roundabout way like it's just stressing me out because like i'm just still expected to do so much all the things that i was doing before with all of this change with moving like th there's just like so much just check on your strong friends okay i'm just gonna say that like i just got so many emails and like texts on moving day and everybody's like, I need this answer like ASAP, ASAP. But I'm like, I, <laughs> I just need to move. I've had the most stressful two days of work at Starbucks ever. The last two days, we're not even gonna get into that. But like, I have this giant event, like bigger than what I normally do coming up. And like, it's requiring all of my like capacity and time. And then I just moved and everything's just, everything's just happening and I'm stressed. So I came to Trek because the apartment stresses me out <laughs> because it's not unpacked yet and that stresses me out. So I wanna get to some of it today, but I'm like, I don't know. There's just so much, there's just so much. So today is going to be an interesting day. Might have a mental breakdown or two, but it's okay. I laugh about it, but it's so true. I have the sticker on here, where is it? Cried, but did the thing anyway. I give myself this award every single fucking day and you should too, okay? I still do my jobs. I get everything done that I need to do. I handle my shit, but I'm gonna cry about it first or after or both, but it's gonna get done. <laughs> and I feel like it's just one of those days. My phone didn't charge last night. Like, I don't know. <gasps> Who's here? Someone's here. Welcome to... <laughs> the new apartment. I know y'all have already seen the empty apartment tour, but of course there it's full of things now. So nothing really has been unpacked. A little bit of the bedroom like clothes wise because still have to get ready for work. The bed is already made and stuff like that because you gotta have somewhere to sleep. So other than that, everything is still packed up and I really <laughs> want to kind of unpack like everything today. I don't know how far I'll get because I also have volleyball tonight because today's Friday, but let's see how far we can get into this. From the empty apartment tour, this is what the entryway looks like right now. So this is the front door. Again, Freya's you know, leashes and collars and stuff are still gonna be here, at least for now. I'd love to find somewhere else to store them, but for now, they're gonna stay there. Water is here for now because there's things all in the kitchen and I wanna keep it in there, but I also wanted to keep it on some linoleum. So it's in front of this door, which is a storage closet. Freya's bells are here for now. I'm thinking about hanging them here maybe, or like underneath the light switch. I don't want it on the door handle. For now, it's here. This is just an overview of what the living room looks like at the moment. Of course, the couch is like already put together because this is how it got brought here. TV stand, all of animal foods and stuff like that. Some bins that need to be obviously unpacked. Everything needs to be unpacked. Behind this couch area is dog beds, boxes, Freya's toys. There's a high countertop here, so maybe some bar stools will go here. I'm not entirely sure right now. This is Freya's stuff from her event that I still have not unpacked. There's a bar cart, <laughs> a random cooler, like obviously things are just everywhere right now. Three more boxes. This is a look at the kitchen at the moment. I can't wait to set up the Alexa so I can have my music back. Definitely miss having her and I need like my coffee station and everything. I'm just excited obviously to unpack everything, but this is what the kitchen looks like. That just got thrown up there. There's things in the fridge and freezer already because obviously they were you know cold and as soon as they got moved over here they got unpacked i just don't have any of like the pots and pans and plates and things unpacked so i cannot cook anything so i would love to get the kitchen unpacked today in this door is the washer and dryer and also keeping some crates and stuff like that not like completely foreshadowing but like i obviously would love to get another puppy soon and so i don't want to like throw away that stuff because that stuff can be really expensive and obviously i can reuse it so it's just kind of getting stacked to the side of the washer and dryer for now until the next puppy comes but that's in there there's another storage closet here random things got thrown in here since the move nothing is organized this is what the office looks like at the moment this is definitely going to be the number one thing that i want to tackle because i need my desk i need my computer i need to be able to work <laughs> that's always my biggest thing whenever i move the closet is not organized like 
so many things everywhere. This is the spare bathroom. The under the sink little drawers are in here, but I think there's so many boxes filled with like bathroom stuff that I need to still unpack. But there's a nice little medicine cabinet to keep some stuff in. I saved the curtain, of course, from the last bathroom. So there's a bathtub. This is what the master bedroom looks like right now. The bed is most definitely not made. I had to work today, but yeah, the bed is already built and you know, nightstands and stuff are here. Dresser, of course, cause I need clothes, tons of dirty clothes. I need to do laundry so bad. The closet, I like this closet much better than the other closet, but I still have clothes that need to be like hung up or reorganized and some put in the other closet probably. So much going on. I feel like I should start in the office. Cause that's the most important thing. <sighs> it's just gonna be a lot. So cue the montages, cue the music. We're gonna just, crank this shit out. It is two o'clock right now. So let's see how much I can get done by like five or six. Cause then I have to go to volleyball. checking everything out. It is quite some time later. The lighting is not that great. It is seven o'clock and it is time to go to volleyball. I got like five, four or five boxes unpacked. I came up with a potential layout for the office, but it's not something that I'm completely in love with yet. But overall, like some progress was made and that's all that really matters. I sat with the layout of the office for no joke. I, that's what I spent two hours on. And then I started to unpack the kitchen because I like couldn't do anything else with the office because I was like, <laughs> this is too much for me. So let me show you what I came up with right now. This is what we're working with right now. These boxes or bins just need to be unpacked. Hi kitty, you sleeping in the chair already? Yeah. Two chairs in the window, or my other thought was two chairs on this wall with my desk here, but I don't know. I'm not in love with it. Before I had this giant metal thing in the office and that's what held a lot of my stuff, but it's huge and it doesn't really fit anywhere, especially with two desks in here. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do there. This was in the office like, two apartments ago, so I brought it back in here. I, I like, I don't know. Definitely gonna have to do something about this orange lighting. I know that for sure. Let me see something. There we go. I have to change my like white balance settings for these kinds of lights so that way I'm not orange, but like I can't do that all the time. So at least two apartments ago, we changed all of the light bulbs to be like these special light bulbs that you could, you know, control with 
Wi-Fi and stuff, so I might have to do that here because that is just not gonna work for me. How do you like the new apartment, Kitty? She's been doing great with the transition. If you guys have been here a while, you know that Kitty like sucks at moving usually. Like she hates it. She doesn't do well with change. But here, like I put her in the office for the first night with all of her stuff and like closed the door. She was meowing and wanted to come out. And she was like ready to explore. So she's been out since day one, which is really unlike her when it comes to moving. So I'm happy. I think that she likes it here because she's just wanting to be out all the time. Huh, Freya? Yeah, I like it here too. I be sleeping everywhere. I know that Freya will like it more when everything's unpacked because she kind of just like walks around and it's like, what it? But Kitty likes it when it's all packed up, I think, because she has way more hiding spots and like hiding behind like boxes and stuff and like nap locations, you know? But I'm happy that we're doing good, guys. Yes, we are. I'm leaving tonight to go kind of like out of town because I am leaving to go to a very big surprise tonight that you guys will find out about tomorrow. I gave a hint on my Instagram stories about it and a couple people guessed right. And so I'm so excited to see how many of you guys are like, no shit. Like, I don't know, but I'm not giving it away until tomorrow's vlog, but I do need to pack a bag because I'm staying overnight. I don't even know if I have a bag to pack. I have no idea where any of my stuff is. I didn't think about that. The only bag that I know that I have is my like cycling bag because it never gets packed away, but group rides are over, so I don't really need it anymore. So I just have to take all my like bike stuff out and I guess we'll just put it in this tote. What do I want to wear? I don't know if it's it's supposed to be cold or hot. I have so many dirty clothes. I just unpacked actually my laundry detergent today and uh, dishwasher pods. I had to pack up dirty dishes because I forgot to do them. So I just cleaned the dirty dishes today because I unpacked the pods and then I also found laundry detergent, but I'll have to do that when I get back Sunday. I guess let's start with the basics. I know I'll need underwear and a bra, you know? And socks. I'm packing one warm outfit and one cold outfit because I don't know if it's gonna be hot or cold. So I just gotta be prepared for both. <sighs> I'm running out of room in this bag. I hate being packed up. Like my biggest pet peeve is living out of boxes. Ugh. It's time to go play some volleyball in the dark. But one cool thing about, I guess today is, today is the playoffs, it is our last week of volleyball. It's something really cool for at least my team is we used to be like the underdogs. We sucked the first session we did this and now we're in session, I think this is like four. So we've been playing this like all summer. And tonight in the playoffs is our first playoffs that we automatically advanced into the next bracket and we haven't done that yet before because we sucked. I'm just proud of us. So the first round of brackets are playing at seven at 7.30. Our round doesn't go until eight and I'm just proud of us. Like that's so exciting. Hey, we're back at it again. I'm here to help the back of my team, um, per usual. Um, our other weaker players didn't make it out today, um, so maybe we'll have a chance to actually win. Allie's gonna watch this and cry. Um, except for you, Allie, you're the team captain, uh, co captain. I'm the co captain. We're going. never met someone like you. Always heard Mama shit blast. Nothing that I would do. Never hit CS news on you. Always trying to show you something new to you. Marissa, that was so beautiful! 